What is this? Man, they're just going nuts here. Just having a ball. Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I am Dan. Today we're back in the Netherlands and the large city of Rotterdam, an inland port city here. Pretty ancient place. I'm excited to check this out. Seems like there's a lot to explore. This is a really big city. Um, let's drop in somewhere over here. Looks like, oh, looks like a nice park. We'll start here. We'll look all around, see a little bit of everything, hopefully. Okay, we're on the ground here looking at April 2019, so quite recent. Guy on a bike there. Lots of bicycles already, okay. Big time biking city. Very nice already though. This is a large place as I said. Um, over 600,000 people live here. Let's head down the street, follow this biker. Nice little bar here, restaurant. Great look to these old homes. Ridzka and DeWitt. Oh, okay. Looks like a canal or oh, some sort of body of water going there. Yeah, a really large place. And um, there's over 2 million people in the, uh, in the larger metropolitan area. Uh, this is great. I love this big font here there. Oh, very attractive city already. I'm, I'm a big fan. Decorative elements all over here, 1902. How about that? That looks perfect. I love that. I've never been to the Netherlands. I definitely want to get here someday. This seems like... Oh, it just seems like my kind of place. A lot of places I might say that, but uh, I, I definitely mean it here. This seems like the type of thing I, I could get into, just spending some good time looking around, getting to know it a bit. Oh, is that a meal truck back there? Vacuum? Good vacuum brand. <laughs> uh, cloudy day out here. Kind of epic clouds there. Look at that. And isn't this odd? It's like a couch. Well, I guess it's a piece of artwork, I think. It's kind of neat. I guess it's a bench, ultimately, <laughs> if you just want to sit down. Sunnier day over on this side of the street. Oh, much nicer guys walking out there. I wonder what this is. Is that a mail box? I don't know what that... I don't recognize that as a feature. Don't have those where I live. And we're back in the clouds. Oh, look at this building over there. Oh, I think I saw that. I always look on Wikipedia just to get a little sense of things. I believe that's um, the Euromast. Look at all these bicycles. My oh my. That is definitely the way to get around. Now, obviously, there's cars here, too. But they might be a minority here. There's a lot of bikes. Hmm. This looks like a dedicated bike lane here as well. Well, that makes sense, of course. Going over the river here. Look at this building up here on these kind of stilts. Impressive engineering there. Nice view of these old long boats or barges, I guess. Yeah, very cloudy day out here. More of the skyline down there. Lots of new tall buildings in this city, I was reading. Lots changed over the years. Well, that's true everywhere, I suppose. But um, the city was um, really damaged. Well, at least part of it during World War II. Um, back in 1940, right at the beginning. Look at this. Those, those are kids in there. Where did they go? That was pretty crazy. Um, huh. Never seen that before. Yeah, I guess it was really damaged right at the beginning, back in May of 1940. Uh, Hitler and uh, whatever, the Luftwaffe, hit this city hard with like 54 planes, dropped almost 100 tons of bombs right smack in the middle of it and just horrific damage to the buildings and many, you know, thousand people died and so forth. 
really bad. But obviously they've recovered here. Loving this architecture. Loving this whole view here. This is great. Very interesting design here. Look at that. These little, uh, what is that sticking out there? These little rooms you can go in, I guess? Enclosed balconies or something. Can't say I've seen that before, but I like that look a lot. Some artwork down here, sculpture. Um, I wanna, let's pop up just for a second here. I'm getting completely lost here. This is a, a great, but very confusing layout of a city here. Well, relatively confusing. So here's the river that goes through there. And look at all these ports here, my oh my. Our docks, or whatever you call these, cut into the land. A major port city. This was, I read for many years, the largest port city in the world. Still the largest in Europe. And here's this Euromast, dating back to 1960. Real vintage place. And well, at this point, See if we can get a view in there. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> that you know, that's about my expression too. Oh my word. <laughs> I like that lady, that's great. Um, great view out here. How pretty is this? Another overcast day, that might be, that might be a feature here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad, I feel bad, um, I'm sorry. Nice observation deck up here. Really neat. Uh, looks like some communication devices up there as well. Cell phone tower, maybe. Fantastic, though. Love that. Yeah, I like that. Um, really well mapped here. Very 3D, you know. That's what you want. Let's head over to this bridge here. I saw something about that. Oh, wow, look at this great park here. Oh my goodness, this is a really big city. Uh, I mean, I'll say that a few more times, but I can tell already we're not gonna see, we're not gonna see all of it, even close. Um, sorry about that, let's get back down. Just wanted to see this building here, it looks like, uh, oh, the Harbor Club, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Old building in the park here. So pretty out here. Just bikes strewn around, is that? Are those share like sharing bikes? Kind of have a look of something like that. March, 2019. Parking here. Thought that was a payphone for a second, but no, that's a kiosk there for parking. Great old buildings all through here. Really nice green space. Here's some ships or uh, sailboats. Oh boy, this is a great city. Really enjoying looking at all of this. Look at this beauty here. This is really nice. Oh, fantastic style. I don't know what I'd call that. Um, I don't know what kind of architecture that is with the stripes and so forth. Hmm. Fantastic. Ooh, look at this building here. Lovely brickwork. Little circle windows up top. Looks like a, a bar as well. Lots of bars and restaurants along this street. El Gaucho. Argentinian food. Oh my goodness, I'd go in there. Bikes and scooters everywhere. Now, is bike theft a big issue here, or is it just... Um, I imagine it must be. They're clearly locking them up. Look at this design work all up there. Well, clearly not, you know, some of the city got hit really bad, but some of this is definitely vintage. Obviously, we saw that one building with a date marker back to the early 1900s, and these... Well, this obviously looks new. Sure seems like some of this is quite old, or survived the destruction of the war. This is so great in here. My goodness. The red and white, or whatever, off-white. Lots of mixture of styles here too. Brand new, super modern looking, angular buildings. This is, 
Oh, I love this kind of stuff. Very well done, new place that went in here. Hmm. And then another style, you know, they stacked two beautiful buildings on top of each other to make an even more beautiful building. I'm a big fan. This place looks like it's maybe being renovated or torn down. Hard to say. Oh yeah, I was going to head to that bridge. Let's pop up. Let's pop up. Oh, here it is. Oh, we were so close. All right, let's let's do it proper and just give it a give it a drive over. Nice. Oh my, look at this. Look at these buildings. Very modern city. Here's all that shipping. Another bridge distantly. Huge yacht there. Wild looking tower. These these architects are just going going nuts here. Having a grand old time. Huh. This is um this bridge was built in 1996, I read. 2,600 foot long. Hmm, half mile or so. Very nice. Great style. Epic views. Um, and these buildings back here. How wild is that looking? Kind of miss, like the mistakenly stacked these on top. Um, offset like that. Wonderful. Really great. And this building's kind of neat too with this overhang. Look at that. Huh. Lots of bridges crossing everywhere. Wonder if they have enough bridges. I also read there's some tunnels here too. So if you don't see enough bridges, you know, that might be because there's a tunnel down there somewhere. Seems like lots of clouds, lots of overcast days. Not sure what this piece of architecture is. Can't quite tell. And I like this building here too. Something neat about that with that red. It's unusual. Lots of red right here in this frame. Luxor. What a cool looking city. Really, really impressive. Oops, sorry about that. Scooters and bikes everywhere. Uh, they might not even have a bike sharing program here. It just seems like everyone's got their own bike. Falling over here. Looks like for as many places they have to lock up your bike, they could probably build about 50 times more because there's really not enough <laughs> kind of just strewn all about like these metal um, balconies they built there here's these new places interesting is that like a rhino there perhaps huh good number of people out and about Cruise terminal. Okay. The city dates back to around 1270. Um, obviously, there were people in the area long before then, but um, somewhere around 1270, they were able to dam up the river, and thus the name, I believe. New York. Hey, you're back in New York. Entree. Definitely going there. I'm not sure what it is, but I uh, I want to go in there. <laughs> uh, let's just keep heading out here. Man, this is great. Love this. Love the mixture of architectural styles here, right side by side. Great texture for a city to have that. But anyways, the beast. Around 1270, after it was dammed up, I guess it became a lot more occupiable, um, or it was safer to live here. Holland America Lun. Isn't that interesting? I think that spelling of America looks very Soviet. Um, neat. Okay, let's see. Oh, goodness, we're not going to see much of this. Um... Let's head over here by this bridge. Maybe down by Ons Park. 
Hmm. Yeah, nice little bridge there. Real nice. Look how low this is sitting in the water. That looks like scary low. Um, must be a real heavy load. Street cleaner here? <clears throat> Anyways. So the city... City slowly grew. And I think it was almost immediately recognized as a port city. Or They, they began building... Um, canals. Or they dug a canal way back in the in the 1350 which connected it to even more places oh my goodness look at this look at this overhang what an engineering feat wonderful wonderful i can't tell you how much i love this i you know couldn't begin to do the math on that Fantastic. Interesting. And what is this here? Not sure. River looks a little dirty. I mean, that's a lot of boats turning up these silt and so forth and mud down there, I'm sure. Hmm. Rust and boot. This looks... Interesting. Oh, it's all like paddle boat style. Either authentically vintage or it might be old. Yeah, it's probably old. I don't know if it it probably doesn't move. Might be one of these that's just kind of locked there. You know, hey, maybe it does move though. Maybe it does. Beautiful views out here. Interesting here with all this glass. Entree. I'm sort of saying that French, like entree. Is it entry? I don't know. This lion. This, this must be from something else. Something must have been torn down and they, they didn't know what to do with the lion. Or they, or somebody just carved it and put it there. I guess that's possible. There's water absolutely every here, everywhere here. This is definitely a city that, um, if global warming continues and the sea levels rise, the city might have a problem at some point. Not today, maybe. But it's definitely sitting low on the water. Flooding must, yeah, must have been, may still be an issue here. Looks like there's trams that run through here. Oh yeah, there you go, right there. Love the diversity of transportation here. It's got it all. These look like really new ones too, they got. Hmm. Great way to get around. So smooth. This building even, this kinda looks like an kind of dated building. Um, but then they've it looks like it was updated a while back, maybe back in the eighties or something. Um or, or more recently, it's got this kind of old, updated look. Sun's finally out here. Oh my, my, my. What is this? What is this? I may have seen a photo of this somewhere. <laughs> this is weird. Weird stuff. Are these... Residences? I couldn't tell you. I mean, it kind of looks like it, I guess. Man, they're just going nuts here. Just having a ball. Um, yeah, if you're an architect with a free spirit, come to Rotterdam, because you're going to have a great old time designing just wild stuff. It's, City planners, here's a merry go or an amu or what is it called? Ferris wheel, uh, just in the middle of the city here. They 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 have no issue just mixing up stuff here, whatever you want. Sort of a everything goes, and it kind of works because it's eclectic enough. I think. Oh, I think I saw a picture of this on on uh, Wikipedia. This is a newer building. 
See if we can get down here. Wild. Yeah, it's an arch. Yeah. And then it's glassed in. Oh, tell me we can go inside here. Appears to be shopping or something like that. Not a great photograph, but <laughs> wow. They painted this all up or something, I get painted or printed. Fantastic. We lo love croquet, croquet? I can't tell what that's it. Um, unusual place. Looks like great, great eating in here too. Fish, whatever you want, they got it. Oh, here's a, oh, here's a much better image. This is so pretty. Have you ever seen anything, anything like that? I, I don't think so. That is unique. And what are these windows up here? The, I don't know. These look like skylights way up top, I guess. How pretty is that? I feel like on paper that shouldn't work. Like if you'd shown me a sketch of that, I'd be like, nah, 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 <laughs> that's too weird. Um, but that totally works. That's fantastic. Uh, here's a train station. Another really modern, you know, this looks so wild. My goodness. Interesting. Is this plastic? Why does that look? Let's try another image here. Somebody's GoPro there. The quality is a little suspect. Huh. Oh, this is like stainless steel. Oh, wow. Or something like that. Interesting. It's like natural texture of it. Kind of look broken there. So neat. Just kind of pointing out at the city, welcoming you. Huh. I don't know. I'm kind of blown away. This is this is such an impressive place. One view inside here, if we can. Oh, nice. Yeah, catch a train anywhere here, I'm sure. Overstappen. Very good. Trains heading out in either way. A massive train system and canal system and road system all through here which you need if you're going to be importing and exporting a ton out of this city look at this stern-faced model there fountain huge roundabout oh sorry about that i hate when i zoom around like that I feel this this channel is already disorienting, I think, uh, as it is. I don't, I don't need any help. Um, tons of bikes. Lots of smaller vehicles. Some SUVs. Okay, here's a huge bus. Um, but mostly these kind of small, compact cars. Compact SUVs. Another building like this. Huh. Oh my goodness, it just continues. Unilever, interesting. Is that a from the Netherlands? If you don't recognize that brand, notice it and start noticing it in life. It Unilever owns like everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Everything you buy at like Walgreens, Unilever owns. You just start noticing that brand. That's it's an interesting one. Their logo is on a lot of stuff you didn't realize you own of theirs. Um, interesting here. A little further up. That's a brick architecture, brick bridge. Well, brick on top. Hmm. 
sort of a park here, although all bricked over. Nice big public space. This looks like a very, very livable city. Restaurants all around. I mean, what, what, do you, what else do you want? Great navigation, um, bike routes, train routes, cars, art. And look at that. That's awesome. Uh, I like that a lot, actually. I wonder how much housing costs here. Probably pretty steep. I'm looking forward to getting back to this part of the Netherlands already. I'll be back at some point. I want to see more of it. I'm going to get to The Hague. It's very close by. And uh, obviously Amsterdam. That's going to be a big one. I can't wait to stop there at some point here. Look at this. Jeweler. I think, you know, I think that's what this is, right? Interesting spelling of it. Clearly English and uh, Dutch here share a common ancestor and, and the, in terms of language. Um, oh boy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to drive large vehicles through here though. That looks like a nightmare. Palm, or sorry, no, not palms, I guess. I don't know, what is that? Some sort of, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what kind of tree that is. That earth has just been trimmed back. It's trying to grow. It's kind of weird. Oh my, time is time is running short here. Um, we got to keep moving. This looks like a prison here. Has the look of one. It's interesting. Normally in these city tours, I start getting a sense of where I am. I really, I really have not gained a sense of this, and I apologize for that. But. It's a big, it's a big place. But I'm loving what I'm seeing. And if I miss some of your favorite places here in Rotterdam, let me know in the comments. I'll come back and check it out. Interesting over here. Oh, new architecture going in here. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, yeah, it vanished right here. So yeah, it's brand new. Oh, wow, look at that. 2008. They tore all this down in 2016. And then, um, well, shortly later, where was that? I swear there was a new building. There you go. All new construction. Not even updated in this map. Solar panels on this roof. <clears throat> the church there. Another more solar panels. Urban farming, it looks like there. Interesting. I've hardly even seen this side of the river. We should pop down at least a little. <clears throat> okay. Apartments. Toilet. It eh, must be a trash day coming up here. New Toyota there on the left. I don't recognize that model. Bikes just everywhere. Everywhere. Now, am I crazy or are not a lot of the bikers wearing helmets? I feel like I... There's some that have helmets on, but I've also definitely noticed a good number... No helmets. Which, that's definitely not safe. Gotta wear that helmet. You only have one skull. And, uh, well, with a helmet, you get two. <laughs> Let's pop in the stadium. Oh, my, 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 look at this. It's not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. We kind of f flew over here, and somebody p shot over a drone or something. Look at this view of the skyline. A little sense of it. This looks like a mosque there, maybe. Real pretty sunset, or sunrise. Fantastic. Not what I was expecting to see, but I, I like that view. Uh, let's see, maybe one more place. Maritime Museum. All right, let's drop in here. Nice intersection. 
great artwork here. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it's got to be about oil spills or something. Looks like that's what's represented there, maybe. Ah, uh, something museum. Oh, museum. I thought those were A's at first. Boy, what a big sprawling place. And it's growing too. Look at all these cranes. Look at this old lighthouse there. Cranes and bikes. Boats. Hmm. Neat place. Really neat place. I'm thoroughly impressed. I don't I don't really rate cities on this tour. Is that something you'd be interested in? If I started rating cities, would that be something you would like? I I feel bad though, that's the trouble, is like I, I don't wanna like be mean to a city, especially if I like didn't do a good job of touring it myself. Like if I give if I do a bad job seeing stuff and then I give it a bad rating, that doesn't seem fair. At the same time. Maybe let me at least let me at least call out a city when it gets uh, um, a five star. This is a five star city in my book. It's just got so much to see and do. It's thoroughly intriguing. Um, wow. I could spend hours virtually exploring there and weeks just walking around. But I'm going to try to keep this to around a half an hour. So for now, let's, let's call it. I'm gonna add this to my map, Rotterdam, Netherlands. Beautiful place. And I'll be back sometime soon. I was in Alkmaar recently. That was pretty awesome. That was really neat. And I'll be back, yeah. I'll be back at some point soon. Check out some of my other videos. Please subscribe, of course. Uh, tell your friends, check out all of the places I've been. Good number of places at this point all around the world. All right, till next time.